But we do have a caller on the line. So let's uh, pop it off and see what they've got to say. All right. Um, I am I am Margaret Rubaca, and uh, is Katrina there? Yes. yes. Hello, Katrina. Um, Hi. this is Margaret. I follow you on um on Twitter. Um, I love your Ross Perot. Um, Thank you. you know. You are wonderful. Um, I'm from Beauty and Horror Productions, and um, I, um, yes, that one on Twitter. And I saw that you follow and talk to one of my actresses, Jenna Simon, aka yes, I The love Bean. Her. Yes, I she know is she special. is. She is phenomenal. She really is, and um, she's in my new film, Blood Wash. And I wanted to call and talk to you about the film and get any insights from you. So, tell well, me. Is this the one where she plays a young vampire? Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Um, uh, well, I play, I play the lead character in the film, and um, I am doing my laundry at midnight, and this laundromat is only open from about 6 p.m. until midnight, vampire time. Um, <laughs> and um, my mother plays uh, the killer, and she is an old cool. woman. And Jenna is the one who turns my mother into a vampire in a flashback scene. So, and it's going to be released in, um, in a theater on Long Island, New York. And... Um, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, how phenomenal you are and, you know, how phenomenal Jenna was in, she was perfect. She was just so picturesque on the camera and everything. And, um, you know, I just wanted to get your insights. Well, when can we see this film? And tell everyone again what it's called. It's called Blood Wash. Um... I'm the, I'm the one from Beauty and Horror Productions on Twitter. Uh, well, Beauty in Horror on Twitter. And um, the film will be done by, um, well, it's actually finished. It is finished, but I'm just tidying it up a bit, you know, putting some sparkle and glamour in there. And um, it's going to be uh, released at the end of December. Awesome. Is it going to be in select theaters? Is it going to be everywhere? How do, how do our it's listeners going to find be It's going to be select, but it's going to be, um, there's going to be a premiere party. And um, it's also going to be released online and um, probably most likely uh, DVD. Awesome. Well, you're going to have to call us back when it's released so you, we have more details. But I'm personally quite excited. I am a new fan, and I can't wait to see not only your work, but also, of course, our little beans. I was trying to get yes, a call in, but I called in a little late today. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're, you're such a, a wonderful shy, person. But, um, but her other show comes out this week, and I'm... I'm uh, yes, it does. And I, and I can't wait to see that one. I know. She's phenomenal. She really is. Um she's just amazing she really is she was so great on camera like she just smoothly went through everything you know biting my mother on the neck <laughs> and um trying to get enough light I hear. she was so smoothly biting my mother on the neck yes <laughs> yes uh, it was it was Quite interesting. I did my mother's makeup, and um, I did Jenna's makeup, and, um, you know, I just wanted to give you a heads up on Beauty well, and Horror give Productions. Us give, us, give us a 35-second synopsis on the movie. We got that it's vampires. We know it's you yes. and the little bean. I'm, and yes, I'm, I'm walking out of my car. Um, it's about 11.15 at night, and um, I'm going to do my laundry. I'm going on vacation the next day. And um, all of a sudden, I see that all the dryers are not working except for one, and somebody has their clothes in it. And it's uh, the killer, the vampire. 
And Your then, yes, my mother, my mother, my mother in reality. And um, I'm tr sorry, I'm trying to speed this up. And uh, she uh, basically gets uh, gets her way with me, and uh, feeds on me. And uh, then she flashes back to where the bean uh, changed her 25 years ago. And then she flashes back to myself. And then I uh, literally gargled blood, <laughs> fake blood. Oh. <laughs> and then... Uh, what did you do for the love of the art? Yes. No, I want to change cinema. I want to change it. I'm out to change it. I really am, and you've been a great inspiration. Jenna is a great inspiration. She really is. And by the end, by the end of the film, I'm sorry. I said we're going to get her on the show one of these days. Yes, you're going you're gonna to see it, and you're going to see her. She's phenomenal, and um, you know, I just wanted to give you a heads up of who you're, um, you know, you're talking to on Twitter, you know. Well, thank you. Because you're, yeah. you're so inspirational and you're phenomenal well, at, every, you so at everything you do. Now, before you called, we were talking about Kim Kardashian, so I'm going to have to quickly get your thoughts on Oh, her my thoughts on Kim. Oh, boy. Way. Give, give us uh, your opinion on the measure. <sighs> I because can't. She, on this show all think that it was just a big hoax. We totally think it was a publicity stunt. Yes, yes, I do too. I saw the article about her apologizing, quote, unquote, for the wedding, uh, you know, to her supposed husband, and um, I agree it was a hoax because it really, it was quick and it was, you know, it was just something... Just for publicity. I that's what I think. I mean it's the latest get rich quick Hollywood scheme. Yes. Totally. Totally. I well, totally agree. Why couldn't she just be a psychic friend like Dion Warwick? Like at least you know what you're getting yes. at that time. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, no, you're exactly right. No, Dion Warwick would definitely like and it just I anything in Hollywood. A bit more. Huh? I said I can at least respect that a little bit more. Have a side yes. business. Do a proactive commercial like Jessica Simpson. I don't know. Diversify in some other way. Don't get married. That's just crazy. Yes, and the proactive commercials. Yes, you just mentioned that, and all the celebrities just popped into my head. <laughs> Every single one of them. I mean, it's it's just amazing what people will do, but that's what I'm trying. I'm I mean, trying to change William everything. Parker. I respect that. Go do Priceline. You know, whatever. Yes. Keep your name on something, just not holy matrimony. Yes, no. No, absolutely not. I, I'm engaged, and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, you know, juggle everything at once, and, you know, I want to make it in Hollywood so it goes, you know, the way, the way it really should, the way it did years ago. I mean, I'm not talking about, like, the 30s or the 40s, but... Let's let's get back to reality and let's stop with the you know with everything with the the false of yeah, Hollywood. I think, it needs quite to be frankly, changed. I I'm as fake as it gets with the nails and the hair and the tan. And if you're faker mm -hmm. than me, good luck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, going on? I think, I think I'm fake enough, and anybody else who's more fake than me should probably step off. You are not fake at all. You're you're genuine. Well, you're definitely I mean, genuine. Physically. physically. Yes. I think you can be physically fake and that's just fine because you're just getting more fabulous, but the second you start yes. stamping your name and and oh. signing on to something that's really fake in the media, then that's where I start to have a problem. Well, 